Aloha everyone, this is Lenora, Hawaii's pickle lady. Today I'm going to show you how to make tiramisu. This is an adapted version, very simple. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I have some chocolate chips and some whipping cream. And I want to put that together. And I'm going to microwave this until it's uh, melted. Now it's 30 seconds. And then I'm going to stir it up to see if it's melted. It's doing pretty good. Now you see the chocolate has mixed in really well. And we leave this on the side. Now I have a double boiler. I bought this years ago. A double boiler is a pot underneath and then another pot on top that fits, but you don't want the water to get in the top. So I, I'm boiling some of the water, maybe about two inches or so. And then I put this other pot on top. Now I'm going to add in water, sugar, and some egg yolks. And we're going to whisk this in until it thickens. There's several steps to this, but they're not difficult. And this tiramisu is so delicious. And it's less complicated than, than the regular tiramisu. So we're gonna cook this until it thickens a little bit. If you don't have a double boiler, what you can do is get a pot, put some water in it like this, and then put a bowl that fits right on top so that the water and the steam doesn't get into the top boil, the top bowl rather. And that'll work too. But if you can find a double boiler, it's much simpler. The reason you're doing this is because if you just cook the uh, egg mixture on the stove without anything underneath, it'll get uh, very lumpy and it'll curdle. So this way you want it smooth. And I, I can see it's beginning to thicken, okay? You can see now it's a little thick, but I want it a little bit more. It takes about four to six minutes to thicken the way you want it. So just constantly stir it. Don't try to do it just on a stove because it'll end up a mess. It'll be scrambled eggs and very lumpy. You can, you can see how thick it is. So it's done. So I'm taking it off the stove. I forgot I'm adding just a pinch of salt. Now I'm adding the chocolate mixture in it and we're going to mix it all up. Adding the chocolate mixture into the egg mixture and we're going to mix it up real good. Mix the two things together, the chocolate and the eggs. It forms a very nice pudding, you can see, okay? Now we're going to keep this on the side and we're going to do the next step. The way I forgot to tell you, this chocolate mixture is called Zaba Glion and this is like a, a pudding. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, whip some cream, heavy cream. So what I did was I put it in the freezer because whenever you whip cream, the colder it is, the better. So I have it here cold and I'm going to whip it on high speed. Okay, it took about two to three minutes to... Um, I, not stiff peaks, soft peaks. So you can see it's lifting up and it's holding its shape. So now I'm going to put some sugar in it. And we're going to beat it up. Okay. Okay, now cream cheese. And mix it up again. This time not on high but low. Okay, that's good. Now be sure when you do the cream cheese that it's softened so you leave it out a few hours or if, if you're in a hurry put it in the microwave maybe about a minute or so to soften the cream cheese otherwise if the cream cheese is very cold and hard you'll have a hard time mixing it in. Okay. Okay. Now, the fun part. This Zabaglion, the pudding, 
Now we're going to mix this all together. Pouring the Zaba Glion in it. Okay, now on low speed, just mix it all up. Okay, and that's it. Now, normally I fold it in with the, the spatula, but uh, I think low speed does the trick just as well. So this is ready, but it has to be refrigerated and cold. Okay, this is ready to go. And uh, it has to be refrigerated until tomorrow, and then we'll assemble it. Now we're ready to assemble the tiramisu. So what I have is a loaf pan and I've lined it with plastic wrap and left some to overhang so that I can cover it when I'm done. Okay. And then I have here some coffee and then I'm going to add some sugar to it. Mix it up. Gives it a little taste. Then, remember we made the Zaba Glion, this uh, the filling. And I let it sit for three hours and you can see how thick it became like this. So you can actually keep it till overnight, but I don't think that's necessary. Just a few hours when you look at it in the fridge and it, it's whole, it holds its shape, it's ready, okay? Now, this is called uh, lady fingers and the uh, Italian word is called savorati. And it looks like this. And it comes sealed in packages, five packages of 12. So I opened it, I opened three bags and we're gonna now assemble it. So what you're gonna do now is take the lady fingers. So there's a sugary side and a plain side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just dip it into the coffee, both sides, not too long, and then sugar side down. And I'm going to line the loaf pan. And as it sits, like you're going to keep it, don't eat it till overnight, it'll get really soft. Becomes like a cake. And there's eight that will fit in the pan. It's very delicate, so you have to work fast because it'll break on you. And you can use the regular soft lady fingers that they sell, but you have to dry it out. So it's better to buy this one. Okay, so I got eight of them in here lined up. The Zaba Glion, I've divided it into three roughly. So on top of the lady fingers, so put a third of the Zaba Glion and spread it out nicely, covering all the lady fingers. Okay, the first layer is done. Now we continue with the second layer quickly in the coffee because it's very delicate and it'll fall apart if you don't hurry. Quickly in the coffee. And you may not use all the coffee, but that's okay. So just dip it in quickly, two more. Okay, the last one for the second layer. Now, you know, you might not always have coffee available, but you see in the back here, we have a coffee maker. And if you, still you don't have that, or you're not a coffee drinker, you can just buy a small bottle of instant coffee and make some coffee, or buy it from Starbucks. So, okay, second layer. Zabaglion. So it's fairly simple to make. 
just takes a little time because you have to cool it off, refrigerate it, etc. But otherwise, this is faster than the, uh, the typical type of tiramisu. Now, the next layer. See how fast this goes? And the kids, if you get them involved, they'd love this. We're halfway. And you can see I just put it in there for a few seconds and look, already it's very soft. So if you have young children helping you, they have to be fast. Because if they leave it in the coffee too long, it'll actually dissolve. If you leave it in there even like 20 seconds, that's too long. It'll just fall apart and you can't get it nicely like this. Remember, everything is presentation. Okay, two more. And it's amazing how this, the lady fingers just soak up the uh, coffee. Okay, so you see you have a lot of coffee left, but it's okay. The last one, the Zabaglion. Just right on there. This looks so good. Even, even the pudding tastes so good. And ladies, gentlemen, Young people, older people, you all can make this. And whatever I do on the video, I always test it out so I know it'll come out. So really delicious. When you make this, you'll be really amazed at yourself. You, you saw how it only took a few minutes, what, not even 10 minutes to assemble this. And now the, the hardest part is waiting for it to, to firm up a little bit. So like I told you, I left some plastic wrap. If you didn't have enough, you can just tear another piece of plastic wrap. And then we're just going to cover this up and refrigerate this overnight to let it all firm up. And then all the, the uh, lady fingers will become like a cake. As you can see right now, it's very soft. And if I try to cut it, it'll all fall apart. So you need overnight refrigeration. So I'm going to put it in the fridge until tomorrow. So we'll see you then. The tiramisu has chilled overnight, so I'm going to take it out now. Here it is. And I'm going to uncover it. I'm going to roll this up a little bit. Okay, so it won't stick. So now I'm going to invert it onto a serving platter. Okay. It's fully lined, so I can just pull it right up. Wow, and there you have it. See how nice? It's hard, it's kind of hard to see the layers. And you can see there's three layers, but of course some of the uh, Zaba Gleon has covered it, but you know that it's three layers of eight lady fingers. Now the final step is to garnish it with chocolate. So what I have here is a chocolate bar and it's kind of sticky, so I put paper towel. So all you do is you kind of shave it. Now you shave it as best as you can. It's hard to get it in long pieces. I mean, I wish I could, but that's all it'll do. So you can see I've already shaved off some of the chocolate. We might not use it all, but we'll see. Now I have here plain cocoa powder, unsweetened. So what I'm going to do is, uh, first of all, I'm going to sift it over the lady fingers. That's the final. So you just kind of sprinkle it on. So you can sprinkle as much as you like on it. But remember, this is not sweet. But it'll, when you have all the other things, it'll be good. Cause, so here's the final. Sprinkle some of the chocolate on it. Oh, this is really decadent. <laughs> Mm. Really good. It's moist and delicious and you want to eat the whole thing. It's that good. So if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Comment and subscribe if you haven't because it really helps my channel to make recipes like this. And click that bell so that you can be notified when we make great recipes like this. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video. So, mahalo for watching. Aloha.